Greetings, my name is Elias Vick, and welcome to this episode on the Delete Mesh modifier in 3D Studio Max. Now, the Delete Mesh modifier is essentially deleting your mesh, or parts of your mesh, depending on your selection. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to make a box in my scene. Make this into a 10 by 10 by 10. And then convert it into an editable poly. And then go to the modifier list and apply the Delete Mesh. And as you can see, it removes your mesh. Right, um, so if I disable this uh, delete mesh modifier to get my model back, if I go ahead now and just select a part of my mesh and just enable the delete mesh again and select it, um, you can see now it's removed uh, the selected part of my uh, editable poly. If I go back in here and select two more of these and go back to the delete mesh, it's removing those parts. Very simple. If I have nothing selected, it's removing the entire thing. Though keep in mind now, if I were to um, have a delete mesh on here and collapse uh, collapse it down into uh, into the entire thing, it's not removing my mesh or in the model here. I can still select it again if I wanted to. And you can still see in the scene explorer, it's not really removing the mesh. And you might think now, well, why the heck would I do that if I can just as well uh, <laughs> remove uh, parts of my mesh by just hitting the delete key on the keyboard? Now, the reason to why the delete mesh is in uh, the modifier list is because you can actually use it in conjunction with the attribute holder to sort of get even more customizability or um, ways to customize your model. All right, I hope you learned something from this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, have a nice day, and I'll see you as soon as I can.